In talking Bible and money, there is a small course of uh, people preaching this idea that poverty is equal to holiness. That if you become successful, you're going against the will and the grind of God. That God's desire is for you not to be wealthy in this earth, but point everything towards one day going to heaven. And I can tell you right now, there's nothing more further from the truth than that. As a matter of fact, God has been very clear what he wants from his people. And I even told you guys in John 10, 10, that his desire is that his people have life and more importantly, that his people have life more abundantly. This is why I'm making a big push for our people to become in a position of wealth builders. And God has given us the blueprint. The only way to really become wealthy in this country or in this world rather, is to become an owner. An owner who innovates. And if you can't innovate, own something or from someone who innovates via, i.e. public markets. This is what always God's plan was. I encourage you to read scriptures. If you see in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 13, here at a time where the children of Israel had been freed from the bondage of the Egyptians, God has told them to go back to the promised land. Why? Because in the promised land, they can become owners and they'll set the terms. And he gives them very clear directive in Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. He says that you will no longer be the tail, you'll be the head. You will no longer borrow money from nations, but nations will come to you and ask you. And God set it up this way because he really wanted his people to experience ownership because ownership is a reflection of who God is. God created the world in seven days and he rested on the seventh day. But all this because he did it out of love and he owned everything. And he's trying to get us back to operate in coheres of him. So here's the key. In your journey of building wealth with God, understand that it is God's desire that you live life and you live life more abundantly.